On Saturday, Speedway's elite riders will take to the track in Gorzhov, Poland for round five of the Grand Prix season. The event is live online via the Eurosport and Discovery Plus platforms. Among those targeting the chequered flag in the final is Great Britain's Dan Bewley. To get the win in Cardiff, it was pretty special, but there was so much on the weekend, you know, it, it felt like it was 100 degrees in the stadium. It was a bit of a, you know, like a daydream. It's crazy, you know, uh, I don't think there's a better place I could win my first GP, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a night I'm probably never going to forget. Not many riders secure a victory in their very first season in Speedway Grand Prix. Even fewer follow it up with a win in the very next race. Dan Bewley did just that in 2022. Dan Bewley in front of his home crowd wins again. What a night for Dan Bewley. Man on the crest of a wave. You can say it adds pressure and, you know, people maybe expect more from me now. I think you have to earn pressure and, uh, you know, I think it's kind of a reward for, you know, your past success. So. Uh, you know, if people expect me now to, to do better, then so be it. You know, I want to do better also, so, uh, no, I enjoy it. I love riding, like, any bike. I think it's just, you know, the adrenaline from it, you know, pushing yourself and, you know, you're trying to go fast. It's just a lot of fun. So I was racing motocross in my last season on 85 cc's. Um, I had to move to, you know, the 250 class, and at the time I was, I think, four foot eleven, and there wasn't really, you know, any chance to, to keep racing. I was too small at the time, and uh, it was just kind of looking for the next thing to do. I was very lucky. A good friend of mine, Steve Lawson, he had a bike in his shed at home, and we just did off the cobwebs and took it on the beach, and instantly I you know, just fell in love with it. End of 2018, you know, I'd had a really good season, and. Uh, you know, it was, everything was just going better and better, and uh, I just had a, you know, a pretty big crash and uh, broke my femur, my shoulder, and my wrist all in one. And at the time, you know, I think it cost me probably two years in my career, just, you know, delayed it. But at the same time, you know, it, it probably made me the rider I am now. You know, I had to, you know, focus on the technique because I was, you know, so scared to, to get back on the bike. And, uh, you know, it probably made me into a better rider in the long run. His debut campaign was certainly testament to that, and the objective now for the British rider is to build on that early success. I learned a lot, and, um, but it was also just kind of, you know, feeling like I belonged there, and the biggest thing I learned was that, you know, I feel like I can ride fast enough, but, you know, speed's not always everything. I think everybody has the ambition that they want to win, but it's one thing to say that and another thing to, to do it, but, um, you know, that's the goal, to go for the top three and trying to find a little bit extra.